For example, how is life in Nigeria? Gama Joba. Gama Joba. Life, but my name is Ruth Abike, and today I have a very special when I mean special and beautiful, so as you can see, guest today with me, and her name is Anki. <laughs> my name is Anki, <laughs> and your name is Anki. <laughs> Do you not pronounce me? I can't hear you. <laughs> my name is Anuki. <laughs> okay, her name is Anuki. So today we are going to be talking about how well do you know my country and also um, initiating, is it, is it initiating? Integrating, that's the word. Integrating. Yes, integrating language challenge with it. So we'll just learn more of both of us culture, our country, and I hope you guys will be educated and you guys know more about what we're talking about. And Georgia is Eastern part of Europe. Oh, half, yeah. Okay. We're I'm trying to be Europe and you want to be Europe so bad. <laughs> so let's start. Okay. Oh, yeah. What is the color of my flag? Color of your flag is green, white, green. What's the color of my flag? Of course, red and white. <laughs> 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 Georgia, let's say Georgia flag. Cross. <laughs> it puts cross. It puts cross. It puts cross. It puts cross. All the crosses are in red, and the rest is white. <laughs> This is very simple. Just green, it's more white, simple. Green. Yeah, green. Green line, white, white line, green, green line. <laughs> That's this. There's no. There's no with this thing. Okay. Um, I had a question mm. to you. Um, for example, how is life in Nigeria? How is life in Nigeria? I might not be able to represent all the. Um, yeah, well, for spectrum, sure. Yeah. Like, but for me, as a middle, general middle class person, mm -hmm. is. It's beautiful and at the same time challenging. Nigeria is a country whereby you would like to be in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Wow. Okay. I don't have to say it's like it's more fun being a Nigerian outside Nigeria. But not in Nigeria. In Nigeria, Nigeria is difficult. Whoever doesn't want to I will tell you the truth, Nigeria is actually difficult, but it's a beautiful nation to be. And yes, one thing about Nigeria is that we treat each other as family. That's a really good part because Georgians, they don't treat each other like that. Well, depends. Our nation already, they mm. do. Like people from Generation Z, mm. we do. But it's like we don't have close contact to each other still and we have small communities and when it comes to your country for example our government which is really bad for, for now nowadays some of them still support our government and they don't think about our future <laughs> when when like you're imagine... speaking to the church you're speaking to african nations <laughs> That's Nigeria. <laughs> like the politicians don't care, or they need their money. Yeah, and their exactly. Practically, but when I mean like families, like if you meet, especially outside the country, as in Nigeria, we are like we can. Something about Nigerians is that if someone wants to stand up against us, mm -hmm. we form this group. Like you know what, we are going to fight you. Yeah. We are only allowed to abuse That's ourselves. That's your power, guys. Yes, we are only allowed to abuse ourselves. Like, even on social media, a, another country or another nation can attack Nigerians. We fight about it. Like, do you understand? Mm -hmm. The only person that is only allowed to attack Nigeria is Nigerians. Me too. That's all. Every other nation don't say anything unless you are going to fight. That's don't just... dare do that. <laughs> That's all we do. Don't do it. <laughs> For each other, at the same time, against each other. What is the name of the capital of my country? The capital of your country is Abuja. Oh, okay. <laughs> the capital of their country is Tbilisi. Okay. Was there any Was there any capital before this? Yeah, there was capital before this uh, called Kutaisi. Oh, really? Yeah, Kutaisi was capital before. Interesting. How come they now moved it to Tbilisi? Um, the our president, previous president Mikhail Saakashvili, he um, moved it from Kutaisi to Tbilisi. Why? 
Uh, no reason. Okay. So Lagos. Politics. Na, in Nigeria, a lot of places have been. I think Lagos was once a capital, and I think uh, is it Calabar? I don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah. Calabar. 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 There's a place called Calabar. I God. I hope I'm not. Hey, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm wrong, but I think there's the yeah. Too, but like, I'm Nigerian myself and I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, Lagos was the capital. <laughs> but a lot of people to now think Lagos is still the capital of Nigeria because that's where the main the economic everything happens in Nigeria. Um Where's the name of my president? <laughs> and I told her before this And I told you I'll forget that. Boo 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 <laughs> So now, boo 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 Joy, I didn't know anything about their politics by the way, but the only joy I had was the fact that she was no for us, she's a good president uh, now. She the, became a good president now. <laughs> wow, somehow. The only thing I li like was the fact that she was a woman. Yeah, I, I can't wait to the a woman will ever be the president like, of Nigeria. Imagine if Nigeria has one president. Oh, uh, I don't know. How can I? I don't know. I don't even know if the weaver allow her to breathe. <laughs> Probably they'll kill her before it's even happened. <laughs> you guys see Nigeria, let's not even talk about it. Dinner in Nigeria, you can't um pass your citizenship as a woman to yours. Yeah. Head. So sad. It's but sad. We'll talk about it. For for us it's normal. You can You can do that, yeah. It doesn't matter your I think most countries you can actually do that. Um, well, I don't know because uh, the rules in uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, they have it totally different. Okay, um, uh, they uh, have uh, Muslim countries. Yeah. So, yeah, mention a musician from my country. <laughs> That's of my lovely topic. Okay, there we go. She said, okay, like, <laughs> let me leave that down like for you. <laughs> Okay, Davido. Davido, Whiskey, Burner Boy, who else you want? Oh, wow. Interesting. Anyways, for JJ, I said that there'll be Rakli or Gyogi there. <laughs> she was like, it should be Gyogi or uh, Rakli. I'm very sure. <laughs> is there not a Rakli? Yeah, there is a Rakli, yeah. <laughs> is that not Gyogi? Uh, I think there was one, one guy. That's good one. <laughs> yes, I can say. the reason why I said Iraqi or Gyogi because anytime you meet a Georgian person, do you know what? Don't even stress yourself. Just shout Gyogi. If there are groups of Georgian there, just shout Gyogi. Somebody will reply you. <laughs> or say Iraqi. Somebody will re reply you. Or which name for women? Salome. Somebody will reply you. Salome, Mari. Mari. Somebody will reply you. There's another popular name. Um, Anna as name. well. Anna, no, I, I don't really hear much about Anna, but there is a name. Ah, there's a Georgian name for women that is a Nini. Woman. Yes, <laughs> everybody, like, yes, is Nini. Do you know how many lecturers I have that are doctors that are Nini? Dr. Nini something, Dr. Nini this, and the end of their of their um, surname is always Vili. Vili, Shvili. <laughs> something Arasha, Vili, Kinikon Shasha, Vili. <laughs> Something, something, Billy, everything. What is the meaning of Billy? Uh, so it's like depends if you are from uh, Batumi or if you are from uh, Ajara, if you are from um, Emirati or really? Gori or something. Yeah. The oh. endings of the last name is different always. For example, my name, uh, my surname is coming from uh, Emirati, Komarteli. Okay. It ends with Lee. Okay. But for example, people uh, from um, from where, is it, where from Batumi, for example, uh, their surname is uh, ending on Z. For example, Galandadze uh, or something. Interesting. Yeah, I so never. I actually never knew that. It's like in, you, in my country, like if you're Yoruba, mm -hmm. your name most most Yoruba names always have Oluwa. Oluwa. Or Olu in it, so you can guess that this person is Yoruba. You know what? I have written song in Yoruba. Are you serious? I day. I day. 
I think. I think it's not Yoruba. It's pigeon. Yeah, it's pigeon. I know, man. <laughs> uh, I was talking about uh, there is some superstitions. Mm. Uh, I think it's South African voodoo magic. You know that? Voodoo. 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 Like, I, I don't voodoo. really understand what is it like because voodoo. when I was watching videos, it was so scary. <laughs> I got so voodoo fucking is, scared. <laughs> voodoo is. It's not just South Africa. I think you have it everywhere. Voodoo is like juju. We call it as a slang in Nigeria. We call it juju. Juju. <laughs> voodoo is like witchcraft, all those kind of thing. It's like juju, and there is it for. So voodoo juju is the same. Juju and voodoo is the same. There is it for like. To is me, it's it, evil, evil things because I've never seen anything good come out of it. So yeah, because when I watched the video, it was like uh, the sound was so big, uh, and also the thing was turning around. Oh, maybe, and stuff, maybe and I was like, what? The it's a specific is type because juju is they are different, like different. Okay, so depending on the country, okay. depending on the tribe depending on yeah the one i saw i think it was from south africa oh no i don't know anything Probably. but i i don't believe in i don't believe in them but i believe they exist if if there exists so yeah but i don't believe like i don't i believe in jesus christ so yeah. i can't say i believe in juju do you understand yeah, yeah. but i know they exist Mm-hmm. Do you get yeah, uh, the same, same, but yeah. uh, for me it's scaring me as well. It's, of course, it's scaring me. As well. <laughs> it scares me like you know what? Hold it there, but I'm be happy by yourself. <laughs> It's over, you know. Oh like, yeah, you we start, know. We start living life. Summer 2022. Here we are. We are back again. Then all of a sudden, this happened. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna tell you about Georgian marriages. Okay. Because um, like few generations before, uh, when in a family there was a um, born baby and a girl, baby boy and a girl, and in another family as well. And if the families were friends to each other, oh, they were marrying their kids. We do that, man. Not everywhere, but we do that. Like yeah. your family, your parents try to like yeah. make you want to. There's even a name they call it. I can't remember that the person has been betrothed to this person or so. A word they call it. Like so, my fr my mother and I can have a friend that probably we were born the same time. She tries to. You know what? Try to make us close. Try to do everything possible. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. But most obviously, most time it ends up working because you've known this guy all your life. So yeah. you're like, you know what? Let me just marry the guy. Oh, so you guys do that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so. uh, and you guys are very um, compared to other European countries. I think you guys are very. 
I don't want to use the word traditional. In my country, I'll say we're traditional. Like, we are very... Uh, I, I don't know the word to use. Like, in Nigeria, we are so deep-rooted into our culture. I think you guys are so deep-rooted into your traditions. Um, yes, but nowadays, uh, people, like, uh, age from... Uh, 10 to not 10 doesn't matter 10 what's gonna do age from uh, 18 to uh, 35 now they are not as traditional as uh, before sure. and the older because in nigeria most of us are very traditional this thing and we're very deep rooted in it it's not a bad it's not a bad thing and at the same time sometimes it's not good sometimes it's not bad it's just we have a we have this particular thing compared to other european countries like i feel like they have more free beds like they can do whatever they choose to do or something or you guys consider your families we consider our families yeah, as well. so yes thank you so much for coming and Anuki, thank you for inviting I'm calling you now Anuki you can call me Echo Girl <laughs> for coming i'm going to put all our social media and do down below and also in the comment section she's a very good dancer like you know i'm jealous oh. I, can, I can dance i can't even dance to save my life you say <laughs> die or dance i'm like you know what let's just die. let's just go end this year right now don't let me struggle and at the end of this to die <laughs> just, just kill me so yeah she's a very good dancer you guys should check out and thank you once again for you guys watching and if you enjoyed this video please make sure you click the like button and please please make sure you click the like button subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and please turn on your notification bell if you enjoy videos like this please let us know and also if you have any question for her maybe she can come back next time please With pleasure down below thank you so much we love you and have a great week day whatever time you have bye bye, -bye.